Hello Internet! Today we have this NVIDIA A6000 that came in for repair with a broken hook and some chewed up area right here. I'm not sure what happened to this card, maybe it was pulled out too quick, we'll see. First order of business is to take this thing apart and have a look. There we have it. Reminds me of a 3080 Ti Founders Edition with the exception of the superior core. And I do not recall they came with a pimple like that. Having a closer look, it appears to be a blowout of some sort, so this A6000 is toast, and there's nothing I can do about that. But I wonder, what killed it? So I started looking at the resistances and everything looked good. Then armed with a thermal camera and powering the card, clearly shows the problem is with the core. But why? It turns out that the 1.8 volt buck converter is generating almost 2 volts instead of 1.8. Why that is, I don't know, so I decided to replace it and see if that helps. Funny enough, after replacing the buck converter, memory was reading that short so I suspected that I may have damaged the memory chip that was close by. Measuring the original chip confirmed, there was never a short. So where did the short come from? Just like in one of my previous videos, I had the same thing with the 12 volt rail, where once voltage is injected, the short goes away. The out of nowhere short sometimes happens after a heat cycle. Not exactly sure what's causing it or what to do about it, so if you know of a quick method that would make this short go away, please let me know in the comment section below. In any case, the short has magically disappeared as usual. Magical. And once I powered the card, we now have a healthy 1.8 volt as we should. I guess the buck converter failed somehow, possibly due to a card being disconnected while hot. I don't know. Either way, I'm done here. Hopefully you've learned something today. So, goodbye.